Hey, what's up you guys? If you're going to be towing a trailer with your Ford Escape, you need to get trailer wiring installed on your vehicle. Let's go ahead and get to it. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. The manufacturer trailer wiring harness is going to attach right behind the driver's side tail light. Also right behind the passenger side tail light here. The wiring will drop down underneath the vehicle and then become centered here right at the bumper. We also need to power this wire harness from the battery so we'll be running a wire to the battery as well. And we have two Phillips screw uh, fasteners here that we need to take off to get the light to come out. comes right out just like that. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light around and prop it up here for you. So this is going to be our connector. We're just going to remove that and connect our manufacturer T connector in there. The connectors with the yellow and brown wire are going to go to the driver's side, the one we're working on now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and feed that up from the bottom and then just reach my hand down here and pull it right up. Now back to our tail light connector, we're just going to find the mating ends. Push that in, get our other end here. is to route our connector from the driver's side over to the passenger side. So we're below the driver's side tail light. Um, you can see that we have our four flat wire here coming down from the power con converter. We also have our black power wire and our white ground wire here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and anchor the power wire provided by the uh, wiring manufacturer and then just start moving it forward. Now before you start running the wire, it's a good idea to get under the vehicle and take a look at where you want to run the wire. You, you need to stay away from moving parts as well as hot parts that can burn or melt the wire. Um, I've determined that the brake line runs almost all the way back to this back tire here and goes right up to the brake reservoir, um, which is right next to the battery. So I'm just going to go ahead and follow the brake line all the way up to the front of the vehicle. Okay. 
Okay, so I've gotten to the um, bottom of the firewall here. The firewall is the engine compartment um, closest to the cabin of the vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the wire uh, down here for a minute because I'm going to go up into the engine compartment. I'm gonna run a, a, another wire down. It's called a fish wire. Once it gets down here, I'll tape the two ends together and just pull straight up the firewall and have a, the wire ran into the engine compartment near the battery. As I go down, I'm, I'm gonna try to say avoid avoid uh, touching this here. This is a moving part. Okay, so now we're up in the engine compartment. Um, I'm just gonna take some stiff wire here. And I'm gonna run it down next to the brake lines coming below the brake reservoir. And again, you wanna avoid any moving parts. Okay, and that'll be down near where, at the bottom of the firewall there where our other wire ran underneath it. This is the wire that we pushed down from the top of the engine compartment. This is the wire that we ran from the back of the vehicle to the bottom of the firewall here. We're just gonna put the two together, tape them up. Okay, now we've got the two connected. I can go back up to the top of the engine compartment and just pull straight up and this wire will run right up next to the battery for me. We're just gonna pull on our fish wire here. Okay, got it. Now our next step is to cut to fit to the positive side of the battery. This is, this is the battery here, this is the positive side. Um, you can see that there's two uh, connection points to this battery, one here, one here. I'll be using the top accessory nut or bolt here. So I'm going to cut to fit to that. Sure. Okay. Now our next step is to connect um, the provided inline fuse from the positive side of the battery to the power wire that we just ran. And you can see it comes out of the package in a loop. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut that right in the center here. Now we have two ends. One end will go to our battery. The other end will go to our wire. Go ahead and strip this. Both ends here. Go ahead and take the provided connectors here. This is going to be our connection for the battery. And then we have a butt connector to connect to the wire we just ran up. battery attachment point. I'll be using an 11 millimeter socket to remove the bolts. Easy there. Let's remove the rest with my hand. all connected here um, and before this is where your provided 15 amp fuse will go this will plug right in there but before I send power to the back I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I have all my connections secured in the ground put together okay so now we're back at the rear of the vehicle um, we're gonna go ahead and connect our ground here using the provided tech screw you can see that uh, you can use a quarter inch nut driver or a Phillips screwdriver head going to put these two together. It's going to go right to the body down at the bottom of the frame. Now we'll go ahead and take our four flat wire. We'll route it, route it to the center of the vehicle. We'll do it just the exact same way we did the uh, passenger side connector. I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here because this is where we're going to be mounting it with our mounting bracket. And we'll clean up this excess wire 
once we're done cleaning up the power wire here. So I'm going to go through now and uh, just clean up our power wire, uh, zip tie it to the brake line and just anywhere solid. As you can see, as I'm zip tying the wiring, I'm pulling it tight just to make sure that, it, that the wire is not going to have any possibilities of hanging down and touching the road at any chance. It's a good idea to spend a couple of extra dollars just to get a um, four flat bracket. It makes it look really nice and clean and professional. So basically, we're just going to find a spot down at the bottom of the bumper here um, to attach the bracket. And it looks like uh, I've got a nice little lip down at the bottom here that we can just go right to the bottom and attach it just like that. I'm going to run a couple holes through using the bracket as a template. I also want to make sure that the wires are out of the way. Put a hole in. And now we can go ahead and drop our hardware through. On this bracket, um, I'm going to have the hardware go up. And I'll put the nuts on the top side of the fascia here. Okay, we have our bracket nice and snug. Now we can go ahead and run our four flat into the bracket here. Put the dust cover off. Go ahead and push it right through and it'll lock right into place like that. Go ahead and put our dust cover back on. Now we can go ahead and clean up our wire back here. All the excess full flat wire and our um, passenger side wire that we ran. Okay, it looks like our zip tie came a little short so we'll have to put a couple of them together to make it a little bit bigger here. To do that you just take two zip ties, put one end on the other, just like that. Now we got a bigger zip tie. Go around larger objects. Okay, then we'll go finish up the passenger side. And as I go along, I'm going to keep pulling the excess wire over towards the passenger side. We'll get that tucked up behind the tail light. Okay, up behind the passenger side tail light, we're going to pull our green wire up, put all that excess wire together, we're going to fold it up, just zip tie it together. Now we can go ahead and put the tail light back together, I'll just flip it around. I'm just going to line up our body plugs. And just tap it in. The light is seated. Now we can take our screws and start it here. Flipping the light around. And just tap it. Right. I'm started. That's it. Um, that's our trailer wiring install for our Ford Escape. You can see here we have our dust cover, our ground, our left turn, right turn, and running light posts here. Go ahead and put that back in. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching our video. Have fun and be safe. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.